Assalamu alaikum and greetings, Alishan Mo here. The race to produce and sell micro FPV racing quadcopters is at its fastest pace at the moment. By posting all these reviews of micro FPV racing quadcopters, I know it gets boring when things get too much, but again, these reviews are serving a purpose. These reviews are bringing you a clear idea of what to buy and what to not buy. We have in this video another tiny or micro FPV racing quadcopter which comes with an FPV system already installed or built inside the quadcopter. This is Nihue NH010. Man, these, these names are really, really difficult. This is Nihue NH010 micro FPV racing quadcopter, which is FPV racing capable or flyable right outside the box for your indoor FPV adventures. So let's take it outside the box. Let's talk about its features and then we will give it a flight right away. So this is it inside the box. Inside the box you have a Nihue NH010 Mini uh, Micro FPV Racing Quadcopter. We have a little 2D 4D radio. We have a USB charger and extra set of propellers. And of course a user manual. And the battery is already installed in the quadcopter which is probably a good news for me. <laughs> it's a 3.7 volt 200 mAh battery which I will be able to use for other quadcopters as well of the similar size. Now let's take a look at the radio first. It's a little tiny radio so the people with big hands are not going to be very very happy. This is again a simple a small toy grade radio system just like uh, in my previous video you have seen for Ishin EO11 quadcopter. You have a um, you have a speed selector, you have a flip button, you have a headless mode, one key return to home, trimmer and of course uh, the controls for your quadcopter. Now having these radios is a good idea because you have a complete ready to fly quadcopter. However, the bad thing about these uh, radio is that they don't have much range. Even inside my house when I go from room to room, sometimes my quadcopter will fall to the ground and will not be able to respond to the radio control because these radios do not have much range. So that is the only drawback. We will see how good this is and how good this radio is and if this will fall or lose the signals inside my house. Now coming to the quadcopter, this is again the similar toy grid quadcopters that you can buy very easily online. It is a six axis gyro system, it has a 360 degree flips, it has a one key auto return to home, uh, compass base and it has a headless mode as well uh, which is pretty much useless for, for you to fly FPV actually. Now, the good thing about this quadcopter right here being a micro FPV racer is that they have installed the camera system right on top of the quadcopter for you. This is 48 channel 5.8 GHz uh, video transmitter 25 milliwatt video transmitter and uh, the camera is one megapixel camera. We will see how good the FPV camera is. Rest, there is nothing different in this quadcopter. This is again another, uh, another toy grid quadcopter which is configured with an FPV system. Here is Nihoi NH010, line of sight flight. I have just enjoyed FPV. Now let's fly the line of sight. It's very stable and nice and when I was flying FPV it was nice but it does not have that power and punch that these my super favorite Ishin E011 has to offer. So these two quads right here are still the winner when it comes to these toy grade micro FPV racers, nothing beats them so far except the brushless quadcopters maybe. But brushless quadcopters, they simply go out of that toy grade category. However, Nihui NH10 is fun to fly and when it's ducted fans, feel free to crash around, check this out. You can hit the walls. 
worry free and the camera system is completely enclosed and protected as well compared to those quadcopters like uh, the DIY type or the Ishin E011 where I have to install the camera system outside the camera system does take I mean the FPV system does take the abuse when you crash abuse and beating but in case of this Nihui NH010 the camera system is perfectly protected very well protected so flight performance wise is good it's fast it's very responsive however it lacks the punch that Ishin E011 offers and it lacks the flight time that Ishin E011 offers power is enough in this quadcopter it's fun to fly it's fast agile responsive as I said and crash proof so feel free to crash it throw it and it will just come back to the flight. Uh -oh. Hold on. I'm holding the radio in wrong hands. The antenna does take beating, but it's, I believe antenna is just fine. And when you want flips, you can go for flips, but you see the power is really, you have to go like full throttle after the flip to control it. So for power and performance, uh, Ishin E011 is still the best, however, when it comes to Nihui NH010, it does have its own pros, like protected camera, enough power, fun to fly quadcopter, responsive, crash resistant, and ready for FPV right outside the box. And you can always grab it by the antenna. So take off landing is just this way hold it from the antenna increase the power and that's your takeoff and you can always land by holding the antenna once again let me set the trim on the forward section so taking off this is becoming my favorite takeoff <laughs> gesture now and my favorite landing gesture just hold it from here you can just drive it from here as well Batteries are finishing. Yeah, that's the thing. The batteries finish pretty quick on this quadcopter. And there we go. No more power.
Thank you for watching the video and thank you very much for your continued support towards my work on YouTube. Please subscribe to my channel and stay updated for all the regular video uploads. If you like this video, please hit the like button and share the link over your social sites.